Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over a topic that struck me yesterday when I was reading some stuff about amnestics. And if I accidentally say amnestics in this video, you're just going to have to deal with it because that's how my brain wants to pronounce it, but that's neither here nor there. Um, are amnestics, I almost did it then, are amnestics better than murder for the SCP Foundation? And that's sort of a, a big question. Um, and the answer seems like it would obviously be yes. And I think the answer is yes, but I don't think it's as clear cut as we want to make it out to be. See, in fiction, and this comes up a lot, you know, you've got the men in black, you've got, it's, you can keep going down the list. Um, in fiction, the idea of wiping somebody's memory who knows too much is pretty common. It's not an uncommon trope in fiction. And because of that, we're sort of desensitized to it as a concept. But if you really give it some thought, if you take a person, now there are different ways this can go, but if you take a person and you completely wipe their memories, maybe re their personality remains, or maybe a new personality is installed, because this is the kind of thing that happens in some fiction too. Regardless, that's a different person. You have killed the previous person if you do it this way there's no question the human body is just a support mechanism for the brain and the brain is just a meat computer if you wipe the computer <laughs> it's not the same person anymore and that's one way of doing it and i think in that case you are just like a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of a nano inch nano inch nanometer <laughs> i bet there there probably is a nano inch but if there but regardless a bit of a nanometer above killing someone right like it's just it's so the, the distinction is so thin that it's basically the same thing in the scp foundation however there seems to be a clear way that amnestics work and that is to remove specific knowledge from a person right? And I think that it very much depends on what you're removing and how long it's been <laughs> since that thing has uh, influenced somebody. How does your sense of self get affected if a core memory that is incredibly important to your development as a person is removed, right? And then moreover, beyond what almost certainly would be a development of actual mental issues. Because if your personality today is shaped by your past experiences and we remove some of those experiences, and they're not small experiences, but like big previous experiences, then your sense of current personality is going to feel unreal based <laughs> on what you know to be true about the world. So you're already giving somebody what is almost certainly a mental illness by doing this. And that's assuming that you're just going back and say, like, you say you remove a person from somebody's memory. That's that's a good example of a way they could do this. Now, <laughs> that's not just a good example of how somebody could do this, but that's also an example that happens on the SCP Foundation. Or... Let's even look at it from this perspective. If you take a D class, let's do the most common version of this. And uh, the monthly termination is actually just wipe their memories and start over so that you still have them for another 30 days. Quick question there. Um, if you keep reverting somebody back to the person that they were before they joined the SCP Foundation to their first day, aren't you just killing them over and over again or, or if you never allow them to develop new memories and become a different person you've ended that person's experience of the world sure for 30 days they get to experience the world again and then you erase it so they're back to the beginning again what i would argue is that amnestics actually just give you the opportunity to murder somebody to i should say the murder the same person multiple times and that's actually significantly more disturbing than just outright killing someone. But outright killing someone removes 
the capacity for that person to ever gain new experiences in the world. Whereas amnestics don't. The body and brain still work, unless you overdo it. The bo- but the body and brain still work, so you can still, theoretically, if freed from this cycle, develop new memories. So between the two, obviously, wiping somebody's memory back to a certain point is probably the better option. But it's not that the the SCP Foundation does that until they die. <laughs> They'd never get an option to, re- they've, once somebody joins the SCP Foundation as a D class, if you believe in monthly terminations and amnestics and all that, um, if you, if you, I should say not believe in, cause it makes it sound like it's a faith, but if you hold that part to be canon to your version of the SCP Foundation, the SCP Foundation is killing them from the moment they start working for them, period. And I think if you amnesticize your doctors after their employment to remove all knowledge of whatever it was that they did, you've also like, you've killed the person that they were in between. And if their personality doesn't revert to where they were before, which seems like it should be impossible, then again, you set them up for mental illness down the road because there's going to be a problem of, you know, personality traits that you have developed based on your past history that is no longer in your brain. So those personality traits, you know, you want to talk about imposter syndrome, or you want to talk about some of the various syndromes where you think that the world isn't real. Um, I, I can only imagine how bad that's going to get for some people. Not to mention the fact that amnestics as a drug probably have their own side effects that could be quite severe. You don't get the capacity to wipe memories out of somebody's brain without causing some serious issues, I imagine. Anyway, this was a topic that came into my head, uh, and I may do a more in-depth dive on it once I have, uh, this is just my opinions and thoughts on it as like sort of a a initial concept, but I am curious. I I really want to look into some of the philosophy on the sense of self and the death of ego and all these other things to get a sense of like, you know, what, what is the right answer? I don't think there is a right answer either way. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I'd like you to go down in the comments and let me know what you think about what I'm talking about here. Are amnestics better than killing in all circumstances? Are they just a little bit better? It are, is am I am I over uh, am I overdoing it? Are amnestics great and they don't cause any harm at all? Like, what do you think? Uh, but once you're done with that, please go on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here. Now, I this video is coming out like for most people on Wednesday. It's still technically Tuesday somewhere in the world, but <laughs> I am considering I'm not sure yet. I'm considering moving my primary uploads to once a week until I get the uh, YouTube Shorts content worked out because that's requiring a lot of my time and creative efforts. Um, So this may be the only video I do that. In fact, I'm going to say right now, this is the only video I'm going to do this week. And by next Wednesday or next Tuesday, I should say, um, I will have decided on whether or not I'm going to move to a once a week schedule to accommodate more shorts content. We'll see. I haven't even done any shorts content yet. So like if it's worth it or not worth it, still up in the air. So I'll see you next week on Tuesday.